At this point, I, I, I don't recall specifically. I, I know that at the end of the day, we're probably going to have around 20. About 20 students in total were suspended from Guam Department of Education Public High Schools after being involved in the two riots that broke out last month. The first incident was at John F. Kennedy High School and shortly after the second at Tizen High School. While 13 students have already been expelled, GDOE Superintendent John Fernandez said that the administrators are still working with the Disciplinary Advisory Committee to further process necessary discipline actions. And as the committee makes recommendations, it'll come to my desk, but I know there were there will probably be around 20 uh, students who are affected um, and we'll know probably within the next week. It's a hard decision to make but it's very important that we send a strong message that we don't tolerate violence on campus and we have an obligation to keep our, our, our students, our faculty and our staff safe while they're on campus. Both incidents were a result of alcohol consumption amongst the minors. We're learning that uh, kids are bringing bottled drinks and I'm not, I'm not talking about the hydro flask and that's a different story. It seems to be happening in those clear bottled water or the King Car or the things that you could buy at your mom and pop store and taking uh, accessing cheap vodka and, and pouring them into the drinks and then bringing those onto campus. In order to prevent this from happening on school grounds, Fernanda said there are talks on whether to ban the bottled drinks or to speak directly with the stores. And they plan to work with Behavior Health to expand substance abuse intervention. As for the students that have been expelled, GDOE believed that securing their education is something to be addressed by the entire community. We don't teach kids to fight, we don't teach kids to, to do all these things, but it's out there in the community and therefore we need our community partners to work with us mm -hmm. to figure out what is the right solution for this minority of kids who are not succeeding and who are putting themselves and others at, 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 you know, in harm's way. This has sparked a conversation amongst GDOE and potential partners for an alternative program for the expelled students. Fernanda says discussions are underway. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero.